On to other stories. The visit by Myanmar pro-democracy leader Aung San Suu Kyi last week put into a microscope the hardship of many Burmese who have had face over the past three decades as they escape poverty, conflict and prosecution in their homeland. Our reporter Panu Wong Tu Um followed Dao Suu Kyi as she visits overseas Burmese around Thailand. More on this story. It was quite an entrance as Aung San Suu Kyi's motorcade made its way into Mahashai an enclave of Burmese migrant workers near Bangkok. Thousands turn up to catch a glimpse of her in what was her first engagement with overseas Burmese living in Thailand. The Burmese community living right here in Thailand, Samut Sakon province, has turned up in full forces to welcome the much revered lady, Do Aung San Suu Kyi. It is quite an occasion, as this is the first time that many of these people will see the lady in person. This is a clear indication the mood optimism that is generated by Suu Kyi visit and in some ways Myanmar reform as well. Decades of economic hardship at home had driven many Burmese to find works here. It is now estimated that over 200,000 Burmese migrant workers live in Mahashai and some firmly believe that Aung San Suu Kyi could change their fate. Attending the World Economic Forum in Bangkok, in what was her first trip abroad in 24 years, Su Ji see job creation as the next important step in her country's reform, as it will allow Burmese to seek for job opportunities at home instead of abroad, narrowing the economic gap between Myanmar and the rest of the region. The economic gap has certainly widened over the last 30 years and we've got to try to narrow this gap because that is connected to the second question about migrant workers. The reason why there are so many Burmese migrant workers in, in Thailand is precisely because of this gap. If we were able to offer them the job opportunities that they get here, then they would not need to come here. It was very touching uh, to meet our workers and to find out how much they long to go home. Myanmar's ethnic relation is another issue that needed much attention, and Suu Kyi's visit to Ban Mala temporary shelter near the Thai border town of Masod goes a long way in highlighting a humanitarian crisis that has persisted for over three decades. It is now estimated that over 200,000 Burmese refugees from various ethnicities lived along the Thai-Myanmar border in camp like this. The warm receptions given to Suu Kyi in Thailand reflects her prominent place in many of her supporters' heart. And for her part, Suu Kyi's promise that she will never forget their plights and will do everything possible to improve their lives. The question remains is whether those in power in Myanmar shared Suu Kyi's noble objectives and concerns. And it remains to be seen what lies ahead as Myanmar continues to open its door to the outside world. I'm Panu Wong Shaum of Thai News Agency reporting for RCN TV. Yeah, well.